What's up, Aries? Hey, Aries. Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective love reading. But before we hop in, y'all know I want to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aries. I hope you guys enjoy your birthday season. Sending y'all lots of Aries love. Y'all know I got me an Aries as well. Y'all know Carson, um... His birthday is tomorrow, 322. Yes, so I got me a little cusper, baby, a little Pisces Aries. Um, but yes, y'all, happy birthday to the y'all. Lots of love, light healing energy, and abundance. I hope you guys enjoy your birthday season. All right, so let's hop in, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you guys, all right? Let's see what's going on with Aries and love. So we got to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So maybe somebody wants to make and put the effort into this relationship, Aries. Let's see. We got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with a joy. And we have release your ex. Okay. The time has come to clear your energy. And at the bottom, we have unrequited love. So, Aries, you may feel like the love is unrequited between you and this person because they have yet to release their ex. But they're telling you that they're really passionate about you, that they have strong feelings for you, that they love you, they care about you. But you want them to prove it to you. You want them to make the effort. You want them to show and prove to you that they really want to be with you. All right? But they need to release their ex for sure. All right, and it could be that they're over. It could be that them and their ex, of course, they broke up, but the energy is still lingering. Or like their ex just keeps popping up, keeps saying stuff like in between our relationship, or it's an issue, it's a problem. Maybe there's a child involved, and you know they're being petty, childish, immature. I don't know, but we have unrequited love, and then we have keeping up a mind, calling in your soulmate. Let your friends help you. So I do feel like your person is confused, and I feel like they don't know what to do. But it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we know that's a lie with this. But you do kind of feel like the love is unrequited because of another situation. Okay? Or something that they got going on with the ex. Or it's just, maybe you're just fed up. Maybe the ex, like I said, is just too involved, nosy. They need to release this person. Maybe put them in check. You know? So, let's see. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with Aries. So I'm going to pull six cards. Whatever comes out, comes out. I will clarify. You know, we will pull some Oracle cards. But uh, yeah, let's see. Aries placements. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Six of Swords, the Emperor, Nine of Swords. I do see that this person is very stressed out, though. Yeah, they are stressed. They're they're very stressed out. They do only want you, but it's very complicated. So, like the situation, whatever is going on. Let's see. They are they're not with the ex, but the ex is what's holding them back, and I don't know why. There could be a child involved, like I said. And it could be that the, the ex is mad over the fact that they found new love. They're with you. You guys can be dealing with a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. There could be an age difference, but they are very stressed out. How is this all in their energy? Because they're really trying to move on and go towards something new, which will be you. But it's been hard. It's been difficult. All right. There also could be some distance between you and this person. So maybe they're at a distance. Or it's like because they got this, you know, situation going on with their ex, you know, it's just keeping you guys at, at a distance.
So let's see, Aries. See, somebody is trying somebody is is trying to be at peace or they're trying to figure this out um because it's five of swords reverse to the six of swords is definitely somebody moving on definitely moving on from the past definitely trying to avoid arguing getting into it with somebody trying to avoid conflict but look there's just so much drama around this past situation so it's definitely the ex that is carrying on the drama it's definitely the ex that is making it a problem. It's stressing them out and then it's causing problems between y'all because they're stressing them out. I don't, I'm not going to say they're 100% taking their anger and frustration out on you, but it is affecting the relationship altogether. Let me see. Yep, two of wands. They're just mad and upset that they've chose to really move on and put this relationship in the past and keep it in the past and that's what they're upset about. Yeah, they're really upset that they found new love. This person does have feelings for you. Again, like I said, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This would be more of like an Aquarius, Pisces, Cusper. Um, their birthday could be February 9th through March 10th, you know, but it could also be, like I said, like a Scorpio or a Cancer. It's the King of Cups. And this person has been very nice to you. Like, you guys really like them. It's been a vibe. But I also feel like it's been stressing you out as, as well, too, Aries, because just all the drama that comes with the relationship. Yeah, see, it's kind of put things on hold between you guys. The hangman is there. So more Pisces energy around you guys. So it's like you're trying to see things differently. Maybe you guys are trying to be understanding. Maybe you're trying to just, you know, like understand the situation and what's going on. But you're just like, this is too much. You're like, they, this is, you're like, this is too much drama for me. Let's see. The hangman. We got the king of pentacles. So you guys can be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But whoever this is that's in your life in around you, it's like they actually do want to be in a relationship with you, Aries. Like they do want to be with you. They do have feelings. They do want to be with you. Yeah. So they, that's they're sure about that. Could be a Taurus. The higher fine is here too. So yeah, you're you're who they want to be with, but the ex is just a problem. Let's see why this uh why is the emperor here? Going to the emperor. Oh damn. Ace of Cups, see? So yeah. So this is a love offer. This is them telling you how they feel. I feel like this person has been open. They've been emotional. They've been, you know, telling you how they feel, what they want. This person is, you know, very passionate. They show a lot of love and compassion towards you. Um, but we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it just has to do with some type of family dispute or issue. So, yeah, there could be definitely a child involved. This is family conflict issues. Um, Ten of Cups, yeah. They really do want to be with you. A lot of Pisces energy. Yeah. So it seems like their ex is refusing to let them go. Um, their ex is trying to ruin your relationship. They don't want to see them happy. And they're doing it on purpose, but then they're also doing it because they're hurt. So let me see. Let me see. Why is this here? Yeah, see, and what's stressing them out is the fact that, like I said, they want to be with you. They want this to work out. But this person feels like the ex is distracting them. Like it's causing distractions. It's coming in between what y'all are trying to build and have and grow. Remember, if your pentacles is coming together, it's, it's a team. You know, it's a relationship, it's growth, it's effort, you know, it's time, it's energy. We got the nine of cups. So you are their wish fulfillment, six of swords. They can't wait for this to be over and done so y'all can move forward and just be happy and at peace. For some of you guys, they can't wait for you to move towards them or they can't wait to move towards you. This talks about a transition. It talks about letting go of something, you know, going towards calmer waters, being at peace. All right. Um... On a new journey. It also is healing energy. The chariot. So things are going to speed up and change very quickly though. So you guys won't be in this energy for long. Remember the ch the chariot is fast movement. It's it's something speeding up. It's something moving forward. 
all right it's cancer energy yes but this is something heading in a new direction this is something that's going to be good successful it's going to be worth it give it about another month or two this person's going to be focused determined able to give you what you feel like is missing in the relationship i feel like it's i don't feel like you feel much is missing in the relationship i just feel like it's like okay get the, get your ex get this person they're a problem they're an issue that's what this is about and they're about to get that all in check they're about to get this person in check they're about to figure out the situation they're going to do what they got to do but this person is going to move forward with you as long as you allow them to they will move forward with you they're not letting you go like you know or they don't want to let this go like you're definitely who they want to be with aries i see it all over the reading i just feel like this person just wasn't also expecting for this to happen you know like this i don't think they saw this coming i don't think they were expecting this yeah i don't think so why is it trigger? yeah see yeah look i told you and they're getting phone calls their ex is like threatening them mad you know even though the two of wands is a positive card but look at the negative energy around it let's see what is this person saying to them why are they hitting them up see look what did i just say i look i always trust my intuition you guys know sometimes i just use the cards as a tool you know i pick up things intuitively i go with what comes to my mind what spirit tells me and they're sending negative messages nasty messages being rude being disrespectful threatening them talking shit you know like oh you love that bitch you with this new person like they're just very negative you know and your person is going to stop feeding into them they're going to quiet down they're going to calm down you know they're going to get quiet very soon they're not going to be loud for too much longer but I feel like you're also fed up with them. For some of you guys, they're sending you guys, sending you guys messages. They didn't find you guys on like Instagram, Facebook. They're all in your messenger, something like that. Because there's a female reaching out. And they're reaching out to two different people. Unless they're reaching out to your person and then like telling other people about the situation. Like, oh, could you believe so-and-so did this and that? Very messy. They're very messy. Okay? Very messy. Let's see how this Eight of Wands is here. Aries you silly yep the devil told you so um Capricorn energy this person like just they <laughs> look see knight of swords the devil told you this toxic full of drama starting shit so like I said you're gonna they're gonna run their mouth for a little bit longer then they're going to get quiet. Um, it's best that you are your person. Don't feed in or give in to them. And they're going to be the ones, you know, feeling looking salty. The five of pentacles is here. Once you guys stop giving this person attention, they're going to feel some type of way like, damn, see? And like I said, they just, they're really mad that what they wanted is gone. And it's no longer there. We got the star me verse. Could be an Aquarius you guys are dealing with. But this person is just mad that they lost. You know, they feel in, in despair. They can't believe that this is happening. And they're so focused on the negative that they can't see the positive in the situation and the positive in the situation will be that maybe they just didn't work out when it's time for them to vocal their separate ways but this person is just like very toxic and needs to move on needs to heal yeah they need to recover and move on they need to go towards something better it's time for a positive change it's time for something better yeah the king of swords universe i feel like them i feel like they just weren't good together you know not that i'm trying to focus on the ex but i'm just telling y'all what i see and i just don't feel like they were good together and like i always tell you guys sometimes you can bring out the the best or the worst in a person and sometimes people aren't always meant to people are going to show up differently with different people okay so this person can be with you and can be the best version they've ever been with anybody they ever been with and then they can break up with you and then be an asshole in the next relationship you know, so people, and then you got to think how planet shift and change, how we go through things astrologically, but also has to do with their chart, their age, the growth, maturity, over time. This person could have been with them when they're 19. This person could be 30 something now. A lot could have changed over the time, you know, so you got to think about that too. All right. We all show up in relationships different with different people. Even when it comes to like our friends, family, you know, or when people are like, oh, you treat them different than you treat me or something like that. We may not notice it, but people show up differently in different relationships, you know. So, let's see. Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, and I told, again, I'm not going to go more into it, but that's what this is about. This person is mad and upset because they found out that y'all are together. And, they're, and they wanted to stop it. They wanted to change that. They were mad. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. This seems like this is a karmic person to them. 
or this was like some type of karmic situation they were in and they're really mad that they walked away and walked away for good and they actually walked away and went towards new love and they're not in love or with somebody else that's what this is really about so they're just really hurt their feelings are hurt that your person chose you they went towards new love which is which is you and they're over there talking shit and being low vibrational bitter mean evil jealous envious or whatever and they don't got nobody new and they're with you and y'all got something solid and y'all got something going on and y'all are going to be together and that's what they're jealous of see they wanted them to come back they're used to them coming back and they didn't and whoever you guys are dealing with your person they want to stay with you they're like hell no i'm not going back see and that's the truth justice they they they're like no i don't want to be in that karmic situation no more so your person is balancing out the skills they feel like they learned their lesson they've been through what they've been through they don't want to go through that no more and i'm telling you guys this now whoever you guys are dealing with if y'all were to stop talking, they're not going back to them. They're gonna, they'll just move forward. They want nothing to do with their ex. If it's, if there's children or something involved, of course, yes, they have to be a part of their lives and be involved. But when I say that they don't want to go back, they won't go back. No, I don't see them going back, messing around. You guys won't have to worry about them having a third party on you with them or nothing. They want nothing to do with that person. That person has drove them to hell. Like they just, they are their worst nightmare they want nothing to do with that situation at all whatsoever so let's pull some oracle messages all right then we'll put the energy oracle and the spirit message to end it so let's see we have closed off guarded so yeah your person is closed off guarding trying to block them out look see they're look they're closed off to what the toxicity the negative patterns that they have with this person yeah this person is a, in a more nurturing and compassionate energy and i feel like for some of you guys they could have been with their ex for a long time and they were you know once really toxic maybe doing the same thing as them but they have outgrown that energy and they're no longer attracted to that person or they just don't want to be in that energy no more they like you because you guys are more chill laid back conservative classy and that person is just loud and toxic and just ignorant we have memories so they are thinking about certain things lately storm see they're just thinking about all the negative shit they're trying not to but it like i i feel like your person is going through some stuff it could have been a traumatic situation for them we got seeds in spring so planting new seeds that will be with you all right they're ready for something new we have action new beginnings courage so this person is finally saying no they're done look see no to the past they're tired of suffering or dealing with that situation you know lack in doubt so i feel like your person is in doubt i feel like they were in a lack mentality or they just were just thinking very negative thinking very low and it had to do with that person see look and we have family home and commitment and there's a pair of kids shoes here um some little great converse and i feel like what's hurting them is that there is a child involved for some of you and it's like that person is going to make it very hard and difficult for them to see them be around them be a part of their life because of you you know are they going to be like oh well as long as y'all together you know you can't see the child or something like that they're making it very very difficult you know and they no longer consider that home they're walking away they don't want that situation anymore and that person just can't seem to accept it messages for aries let's see see victory you're gonna win in the end you're gonna get what you want i feel like it's just a lot some of you guys could be going to like church or your temple maybe some of you guys are praying you know um we have victory you guys can have like a prayer group or maybe you guys has been like really into like praying and hoping that things are going to change number 12 is here we got number 28 that's 10 so that talks about an ending you're about to go towards victory something is definitely going to be you know in your favor look we got contracts so they're ending that contract you guys seen it have like some type of soulmate connection so six that also talks about soulmate energy so you guys can have like a soul contract but or uh, this can lead to marriage why is the contract card here see patience so i feel like with the patience card there's a lot of anxiety woman holding a heart this person sees that you are a really good person a genuine person um they see your heart is open to this you make them very happy with the sun they do appreciate you with their appreciation card and we have man holding a coin so there is going to be some commitment that comes out of this for sure all right and then look we got happy family some of you guys are going to even have your own child start your own family our combined families
very jealous and can't let go. That's what that's about. Let's see, Aries. We have awakening, so preparing, relocation, ascension, ascension. Sorry, y'all. That's Carter. Y'all hear him? Sound like a train. He has like bad sinus sits right now. He's doing. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Do you hear that? That's what he's doing. So we have awakening number seventeen. So it says preparing, relocation. Some of you guys are relocating, or like I told you guys, relocation. Are like being at a distance is in between you guys. You guys are coming together. You guys are preparing for something. Your person has awakened to a lot of things. Or were, they were going through some type of spiritual awakening. Or you are. Okay. This is supposed, it's supposed to be for you. But it could be for your person as well. And then I do see the energy shifting and changing. Okay. Um, so things are going to get better. I do love this for you Aries. Um, and like I said. You're going to win in the end. You're going to get your commitment. You're going to get what you want. Alright. Let's see one more isolation 25 loneliness reconnection home so for a little while your person may feel they're connected to you want to be with you but it may feel like there's a disconnect or something's wrong with them and it's just everything that they're needed to release and let go of from that relationship you know um and with the loneliness card i don't feel like you don't make them happy they're not lonely with you it's just they feel like something is missing and if there's a child involved then that's what's missing you know because there's going to be a lot of problems and ups and downs with that situation because they are choosing to be with you okay so that is what i have for you aries that is your reading if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell and if you guys would like to book fireintuition.com Alrighty, bye aries